Welcome back to the Team Film Circus Live Duel. Today on the left side here, we have Josh Kirby. He's playing Math Mech, a very interesting deck that I think he's going to be operating to regionals. I guess you guys will already see this. I forgot. This is recording in the uh, two days before the regionals here. Um, so you guys will be seeing this after the regionals. Most likely, he will be topping with the deck. He's a very, very good player. Unless he gets extremely unlucky with the Bistules, that I don't believe we shall be seeing. And then on the right side, we have Dylan Fricker. He's playing... Uh, He's playing Labyrinth. Interesting deck, a very trap deck of the... Uh, we're going to see some die rolls here, and I believe that Math Mech has won the die roll. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and well, let's dive in. I like the... Uh, the Oh, unfortunately, it seems to be the trap deck has won. We're going to see to start off with a duality chain, the D-Shifter there. Picking up that goes in match. D-Shifter is a crazy card going into Math Mech. They're going to see Prosperity, Banishing, most likely 6 for cost. They don't care about the Dexter deck. This is a very Eldritch style deck, but you can actually play like Dimension Shifter. Um, they're going to see Skill Drains, and yeah, a lot of Floodgates. They're going to see a Set 4 and a Pass. Um, they are under the Skill Drain here, so or under the D Shifter, so... Did they just say pass? There's no way Math Mac just said pass. I guess they know their opponent can't OTK them. But I don't really feel like you'd do that, right? Looking at the extra. Maybe they can make a heat soul here. I don't really know. You do see the gamma in the main deck, which is interesting. I feel like a lot of decks are doing that. A lot of the cyber decks are. They're going to see a big welcome being activated here, searching most likely for the Ariana, summoning it out, I would assume. Or maybe the Lovely. I'm not too sure. They're going to see the Lovely here. I'm not a huge Labyrinth um, player. I don't really know very much about the deck. They're going to see the big welcome being banished off the... Uh, off the dimension shifter there. They're gonna chain the effect of of uh, D barrier here, and then chain lovely, and lovely's gonna get negated by the gamma here. It does not get destroyed though, due to the fact there's a trap and uh, set on the field, so it cannot be destroyed. And then we're gonna see the D barrier going to be sent as well. And they're going to be drawing for turn. That was during the end phase. They're just going to go straight to battle, attack with a lovely set one, and pass. And now we are no longer under D-Shifter, and they're going to scoop it up anyways. Wow, okay. Very quick game one there. We do see the lightning storms look like they're going to be added. Or they are playing the duster, so you definitely have the duster, and I would assume maybe thrust. You see them taking out the nibs, that's for sure. As well as the Gammas. It's weird how they're adding in the Lightning Storms. I feel like that's just kind of suboptimal. And we do see the Gamma still in the deck as well. And a Nib, I think. Yeah, we do see the Nib still in the deck. I don't think that they can actually... Maybe it's a small world bridge. I'm, I'm not too sure. I know that Josh has crafted the deck very, very well. Um, he knows the deck in and out and most likely has um, like all of the all the stuff in there. We do see them looking through the uh, Albaz stuff on the right side corner there. I believe Angus is picking up Albaz. It's a very good deck. I, I like it a lot. Probably my favorite deck, not going to lie. And then we're going to see the La uh, Lavin player most likely going to go second here. Um, so Math Mac will be able to set up a board. But will they be able to break the board? I see a small world. And they're going to reveal, is that a Gamma? Unfortunately, we cannot see. I think that was 
Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to see circular dumping the sigma, sigma plus sum, and then we're going to see the circular searching for the um, superfactorial. They're going to overlay there for the Albertian. I do apologize about the glare. Then we're going to see them search for the diameter. Diameter is going to normal sum and add special sum out the sigma. And they're going to be overlaying for the stifle as well as the um, devotee. No, both players know what this combo does, so just speeding it through, no need. We're going to summon out pop, summon out two tokens, then link it into the Lingeribo, which is a very good card, and linking both those off into the Cybers Wicked, linking them away for the IP, banishing that Albertian to be able to search for another diameter for the follow-up. And most likely going to be a pass there after they set the Super Factorial, and that's that. So we do have a spell and trap negate in the form of Link Rebo. We're going to see Prosperity here. And that's going to be banishing most likely six for cost. I think we also saw seals there. So I can assume that we are playing um, the whatever it's called, cherry somewhere in the deck. Most likely a side deck. That's going to emit with an Ash Blossom. So no Prosperity for you. They're going to set one card, set two, set three, then activate Super Factorial here, summoning out all three, and then Xyz summoning into the Laplacian, I believe his name is. They're going to be detaching two here, and then chaining the Wicket as well, searching for another diameter. Now you always want to abuse the effects as much as you can. And then it's going to be shuffling back or destroying the Gozen and the other Prosperity in the hand, leaving that Lovely in the hand as well. And we do have the Lingribo Negate. Then we're going to activate the IP here. Going for an access code when targeting for two, then drawing for turn. And I think this is going to be an OTK. And just going to scoop it up there, realizing they have enough. You know, that one um, negate is not going to be enough, especially when you normal summon diameter, bring back, overlay. That's going to happen in a gate as well, so. Or they could just start, you know, popping with access code. <laughs> that's a, that's another very good option. Now we see some very quick games from both players. Moving on to game three here, which is going to be interesting. Because this trap deck is going to be able to go first here. Um, but like both very good, respectful players. Uh, no need to stall, like, you know, when they have enough, they have enough. And we saw, like, Josh knows his combo very, very well. Just, like, slapping those cards down. Um, like, I don't know, this guy plays so much on DB. You guys might know him on the DB channel. Coach DB Grinder, I guess. I think that Mathmex is a pretty easy deck to learn. It's very easy to play, but I guess it's hard to master. There's some lines that are just harder to know than others, especially when you're, you're dealing with Small World. It just comes with practice, but the deck is definitely a pretty like basic cookie-cutter combo. It's when you have to face like random stuff like this, where you're like, okay, I just got to choose the right way to, way to approach this. I see the Labyrinth player shuffling it up. I wonder what like hard going first traps are gonna have. We know there's gonna be floodgates. I do want to know how like how the siding patterns work for some of these trap decks. Like I think that was like one of the hardest things I felt when you're playing Outlitch. Um, I mean, I guess super easy when you're playing like the um, like I guess there's some more like flex spots in this deck with the floodgates as well as the Dimension Shifter and the Evenlies. Other than that, let's dive into the all-important game three. We're going to see a set three and a pass there. Not the greatest hand, but do we see a lightning storm from the hand of the player? Now there's a gamma there. I 
And it looks like they're having to think here. We see a silent mining. Do you maybe just like play it off and like try to defend your board until you can like draw into a back row blue boat? So I'm heavy thinking here. Maybe you're trying to calculate the odds of how many cards he has in the deck and can he afford to. We also see a nib there, so I think he opened his small world bridge. Unfortunately. And I think a parallel exceed as well. We're gonna see silent mining, pitching the Nibiru there. Searching for the circular. And shall he be trying to play through is the question. And just passing here, okay. We're trying to do the end phase. We're gonna see big welcome. He's gonna chain the ash blossom to that. We get call by the grave. Okay. Interesting how this deck like plays like very like one for one ish traps. Well, we know like the old trap, like old trap decks like Outlitch, you would want your traps like do stuff and more. So there's something that looks like the Lady of Lament here. Or not Lady of Lament. The uh the big labyrinth woman. I'm just gonna these not somebody out lovely, which is kinda weird. And we do have that two cards in hand, but only one. They're going to activate the... Oh, because I have Lovely in hand here. That makes sense. And they're going to activate the Compulse. Then we're going to be able to chain and get lots of effects. That's going to set, like... I think it sets two traps. And then Lovely's going to be bounced back. And then that's going to trigger something else. They're going to hit the Lovely with the Gamma. That's going to be able to reset the Big Welcome here. And then there's just Dan over here looking at some of the cards interrupting the gameplay. Dan, what are you doing to us, man? And, you know, it gets banished during the end phase, and then they're going to be able to draw here. And discarding the... Is that a... That was a parallel exceed. We do know they have a big welcome in the hand here. Being able to chip some of the cards in their hand is pretty good, though. And then we're going to be able to set the other card. Activating the lovely here. Summoning it out. And then we're going to chain the big welcome. Actually, that's just welcome labyrinth. My bad. It's kind of hard to see with some of the arts looking kind of familiar. Kind of the same. That was big. That was not big welcome. That was just regular welcome. I think they set Eradicator there. That's going to summon another lovely, and that's going to be enough for game. And here they're just going to attack for game, and uh, they ended up winning. So we see the trap deck here. Being able to actually OTK, which is very interesting. Um, and, you know, unfortunate gameplay from Mathmech not seeing any of the blowout cards, but we see some good sportsmen like giving that fist bump there. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.